The Lewis and Clark expedition of the American West was a scientific bonanza. Check out The Science of Lewis and Clark. Science could be described as the method of gaining knowledge about the universe around us. In 1803, the West was a huge mystery. Sextants and chronometers may have told the men of the Lewis and Clark expedition where they were on the Earth, but these instruments could not tell them what they would find in this huge Western land. President Thomas Jefferson sent the expedition to explore this new area, map it, and bring back scientific samples and descriptions of the people, the plants, the land, and the wild animals. For the most part, the Native American tribes they met along the way were friendly, guiding and advising the expedition. In fact, the Corps of Discovery, as they were called, may not have survived without the help of the Indians they encountered. Lewis and Clark found 178 new types of plants, trees like the lodgepole pine and the Engelmann spruce, plants that could be used for food, such as blue huckleberry and camas. And they discovered a species that caused no end of problems for the men and their moccasins, according to a journal entry by Meriwether Lewis. June 23rd, 1805. This evening, the men repaired their moccasins to protect their feet from the prickly pears. But prickly pear was a minor problem compared to encounters with a mysterious animal the Native Americans called white bear. Although the explorers began noticing the huge tracks of this animal, it wasn't until a year into their journey that they had their first encounter. May 14th, 1805. The men in two of the rear canoes discovered a large brown bear lying in the open grounds. Six of them went out to attack him. Two of them reserved their fire. The four others fired nearly at the same time and put each his bullet through him. This monster ran at them with open mouth. The two of them who had reserved their fire discharged their pieces at him as he came towards them. This, however, only retarded his motion for a moment he pursued the two of them so close that they were obliged to throw themselves into the river. So enraged was this animal that he plunged into the river only a few feet behind when one of those who still remained on shore shot him through the head. Meriwether Lewis. Lewis and Clark described for science at least 120 mammals, birds, reptiles, and fish. They wrote of rattlesnakes, mountain goats, bighorn sheep, sage grouse, and rivers bursting with salmon. From the prairie dogs that Lewis called barking squirrels to the masses of bison, the core of discovery truly discovered a vast resource of amazing wildlife in a stunning place called the West. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website or check our related videos. And if you like Science Trek, be sure to click the subscribe button to catch our newest videos.